Hi friends! Flowers are not just beautiful, but they also play a crucial role in the reproduction of plants. Each flower is made up of different parts, and understanding these parts can help us appreciate their beauty even more. The main parts of a flower are the sepals, petals, stamens, pedicel, receptacles, and pistils. Let's take a closer look at each of these parts. Petals are the most eye-catching part of the flower. They come in different colors and shapes, and their main function is to attract pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and birds. Sepals are the outermost part of the flower and are usually green in color. They protect the developing flower bud and provide support to the petals. They look like tiny leaves. Pedicel are known as the stem of the flower. These pedicels holds the individual flower in the place. The another part is called receptacles. It holds the major parts of the flower. Stamens are the male reproductive parts of the flower. They consist of a filament and an anther, which produces pollen. Anther is responsible for the production of pollen and Filament is the stalk attached to the flower that holds another. Pistils are the female reproductive parts of the flower. They consist of three parts, the stigma, the style, and the ovary. The stigma is the sticky part that receives pollen. The style is the tube-like structure that connects the stigma to the ovary. And the ovary contains the ovules, which will eventually develop into seeds. A flower with both male and females are known as perfect flower. Example rose and lilies. A flower that is missing male or female part is known as the imperfect flower. Cornflowers and squash are the examples of imperfect flowers. Thanks for watching.